Okay, let's talk a little bit about leveling a motor. What we're trying to do is get that level, and if we level our shaft, they're going to be nice. The faces of the couplings are going to be good, and it'll run smoother. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and take our level. You want to use a good precision level on this, and we're going to put it on our shaft. Now, it's important that we don't have any burrs on the shaft. I went and checked this shaft a little bit before. So when I put this on, I want to make sure I'm at 12 o'clock and in line with the shaft. Otherwise, if I go off to the sides, I'll get false readings. So if I look at this now, it looks to me like the rear end's high. How high is that? Well, the bubble's over here and towards this end. So what we're going to need to do, let me make sure I'm doing this right. There we go. It's not too bad, actually. Boy, I don't know. Uh, we're going to try it. Now, the next thing we're going to do then is we're going to put a feeler gauge in there to try to bring that level up. Let's start out with a, well, let's just start out with a two thousandths. I'll put this level here on there. I'm going to put this on and I'm just going to go a little bit onto the shaft. And I look at this bubble and it's still not enough. So I'm going to go and go with a little thicker one. Let's jump up to four. The more you play with it, the more you get a feel for it. Is it one or five thousand? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go here again. You want to keep your fingers away from the bubble because the heat from your hand can make a difference at times. Okay, I put that four in there and we're looking really good. So, what I'm going to say, I'm going to look at how far am I in, okay, with my gauge, and where's the other end. So, you notice we can't, we can't use this length. We got to use from the edge of our feeler gauge all the way to this side. We'll measure that. So, we're going to take a scale and we will, um, kind because of, we were in about this far. Now, I'm not worried about thousands of an inch. I just want to get it close. And we're talking about inch and five eighths, maybe almost inch and a quarter. Let's use inch and three quarter on this one. Okay. So that's going to be our LE for our formula. Right up here, inch and three quarters. Inch and three quarters. If you want to do a digital, 1.750. Okay, then the next thing we got to do, which is important, is we got to take our distance between our bolt centers. So I'm going to take my scale again, and I'm going to look at here, and I'm going to measure, and we're about three inches, okay? I'm not going to argue over a 64th of an inch. So let's go three inches for that. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is figure out our ratio between the two. Because the angle is going to be the same. Believe it or not, you're doing trigonometry now. You didn't even realize it. Okay, so we got 3 divided by 1.75. Could you write that down like that, please? <coughs> and you got your calculator over there? You do that for me. What do we get? One point seven one. Okay. So then what we'll do is we'll take our four thousands. I like to just work in thousands. So I'm going to take that four times one point seven one. Do that on the calculator. And what do we got for an answer? 6.84. Okay, 6.84. Now, we can't deal in tenths of a thousandths with our shim, but we're really close to seven thousandths, okay? A lot closer to seven and six. So then what we're going to do is on, because we had to put the feeler gauge on this side, we had to like lift it up. We're gonna have to lift this motor up on this side. So we're gonna put, seven thousandths in both of the front feet, not just one, both. That'll bring this up and when we do that, things should come out nice and perfectly level. If these bolts were, were uh, 30 inches apart, we'd be doing 70 thousandths. 
See how that works? It's just a ratio. It's just the angle and the longer it goes, the farther. We are doing it in a short distance here. Here's longer. We could set this whole table doing the same thing. Okay? Makes sense? Let's go and get the shims and do that. So do you have a 